guys what's going on my loves i'm sending love and light to everybody thank you to everyone that's liked shared subscribed if you guys have purchased a reading or if you've donated to my page i appreciate you guys so much if you have not uh, subscribed please do this so that you'll know when i'm here with new content if the reading resonates with you please go on ahead and Hit that like button for me. It actually helps the page. And I would really, really, really appreciate it. We're checking your energy and trying to see who's in your energy at this time. Could be on either side. So if it's something that looks like it belongs with another energy that is attached to your energy or has been in your energy at any time. Um, just put the energy over there, but it's just my job to let you know what I'm feeling. Okay, so right out the gate, we have an energy coming through here. Somebody that you had some sort of contract with. Could be a, a marriage, could be a soul contract, could be someone that you work with as well for some of you. I feel like this person has been in their ego. They have been loud. They have been boisterous. They have been uh, trying to uh, exercise their aggression in, in your direction. For some of you, you have a person around you that you do have a soul contract with and this person has brought you to depths unknown and when i say that i feel that you have went through a lot of strife a lot of stress a lot of uh negativity and some of you are awakening to the point right now where you're able to direct the blame to this person. <sighs> Some of you have been giving to a person here. I feel like the connection has been a, an addiction for you. So in other words, you have been connected to someone Maybe you guys have um, gone back to this person multiple times. Maybe you um, have thought about like, yeah, I'm going to leave him alone this time. But then you end up and you're right back with him. Something of that nature is going on here. And I feel like someone is opening their eyes to it. This is introspection. You have the option of going one way you have the option of going another way but i feel like someone here is opening their eyes to what they have been doing to contribute to a situation in their life fear of being alone fear of looking a certain way to other people fear of not having things the way that you would like for them to be fear of not being enough per se, okay? Um, this stems back to someone's childhood with these thoughts and these feelings here. Someone has been feeling like they have never been enough since they were a kid or feeling uh, they felt like they just didn't have the attention, the love, the care that they deserved from a child. So this is a person. I don't know who this is, but it's making me hot. Could be a fire sign. Anytime I start to sweat, it's because it's one of my fellow fire signs in a reading. So somebody here could be dealing with the fire sign on and off. You could be dealing with a fire sign that has put you through a lot. And some of you, you keep making the decision to keep going back to this person, even though, you know, spirit is saying, when are you going to wake up? When are you going to choose something different? When are you going to choose yourself? When are you going to understand that this is not something that's good for you? When are you going to understand that you've been in a lesson? Some of you feel like you're alone and you're dealing with someone. Spirit is saying that you don't have to feel alone. <laughs> you have to understand, right? You have to dig deep right now, okay? You see this mirror is broken 
right? So the, the, the view that you have on this issue has been distorted, right? When a mirror breaks, the vision of it or the view of it is distorted. Your view of this relationship of this person has been distorted, my loves. This is what's coming through, okay? Some of you, you may want to go out or may need to go out and chat with some friends just to break the monotony of your life right now. Some of you have been thinking too much. And others of you have been brought to this moment to think about where you are and how you got there. Okay, let's continue. Thank you, Spirit, for this message. What card is this? All right. There's going to be people that come in my, in my feed and say, oh, this is not for me, blah, blah, blah. You know, um, most times I don't answer, guys. But when I got time, I got time. You know what I'm saying? And, and for me, I can only give you uh, what I'm feeling or what I'm seeing. It's not just <clears throat> what the cards say. It's what I'm feeling as when I'm looking and in, in, in touching the cards. So... You know, for those that don't want my message, just scroll past me. You know, it's okay. There's, YouTube is full of other beautiful readers, and I, I love them all. It takes a lot to do this work. It's not something that's easy. We all have lives. We all have families. You know, we all have jobs, most of us. You know, for those of us that are not doing this dedicated... And if I'm not for you, I'm not for you. It is what it is. You know, I'm cool with that, right? But for the people that rock with me and the people that come here to hear my messages, thank you. And if you feel like this resonates with your life, you know, I'm, I'm doing what I'm called to do, okay? Just had to say that because I get a lot of feedback. And lately, it's been a lot. So here we go. We got contract out here twice, like I was telling y'all. Okay? Breaking the contract. This something is going on here. This is something where you're supposed to break this contract with this person. You keep going back and forth with this energy that is not working out. It may work out for a little bit of time. But then once, you know, you guys get, you know, through some things, you're right back at the, at the same uh issues that you were staring at before spirit is saying yeah when are you going to do something different you guys are sitting here with your head down right you have fear of being alone you don't want to look a certain way for some of you you may feel like at this age i should be having this i should be doing this right it's not about that it's about you it's about how you feel it's about how you're doing it's about what is going on with you not other people introspection Spirit is saying that this is a time for you to cleanse your energy, to release the energies that are around you because people have been siphoning your energy. People have been clouding your energy. People have been um, sending you negative energy, okay? Money hungry people. People have been in your pocket. People have been asking you for things. Some of you have um, awakened to the point where you're saying, and you're looking around you and you're saying, you know what? I help all these people. Who's helping me? Someone is always asking me for something, right? Right? When I have obstacles in my life, who's helping me besides God? True story. Okay? I don't trust them because they know that they can trust me. They come to me. I help them in the same instance. Would I be able to trust them the same way? No. Mm -mm. You have somebody, okay, that um, the person I'm speaking to right now, either you guys have someone around you that had a DUI, someone had, someone could have been on their way to a DUI or something of that nature is here, okay? You may have helped a friend, you may have stopped a friend from driving, you may have stopped someone from doing something uh, to where they would have hurt themselves. Okay, for for some of you, this is the energy that you are looking into now. You're saying, you know what? I do everything that I can for other people. I'm always there for other people. I'm always making sure they're good. But who is making sure I'm good? <laughs> this energy of this person is coming through. 
Spirit is saying that this is a person, like I said, I'm hot. They could be a fire sign. This is someone that you cannot get away from or you feel like, you know, you have to keep reconnecting with. Spirit is wanting you to cleanse your energy from this person to finally walk away and choose yourself. Um, I know that that's not an easy thing. You're meant to break this contract. You see this card here? Um, Spirit is saying it's time, my loves. It's time. Um, for some of you, you, you haven't felt that um, your life is complete without a person or without this person. Take that how it resonates for you. For some of you, you have someone around you that ticks all the boxes until you're actually with them. And then shit just does not work out. Okay? Um, it just doesn't. Some of you may be angry now. What are you angry about? You're angry because you're wondering how do you keep getting to this point in your life? I'm tired of people letting me down. Right. I'm tired of I'm tired of being around people in their in their ego, you know, that treat me a certain way. Right. I'm tired of feeling like I have to do everything all the time. I'm tired of feeling like, you know, everything um, stops at me. Mentally, I'm drained. Mentally, I'm drained. For some of you, you should be taking medication for depression or for anxiety. And yeah, you haven't been. You've just been trying to cope with it the way that you can. Um, I'm feeling like someone here has been very angry. And you're just now coming to the point of, of understanding why. And this is going to take you down a rabbit hole. Because what you may have thought was making you upset was not what was making you upset. Let's continue. For some of you, you have pissed somebody off. I see magic here. Someone may be paying or doing magic on you to, to either siphon your energy or to stop your progress. They want you to run into obstacles. This is someone that you may have been in a union with coming through here, right? You may have been in a union with this person. This person may have been seeing other people, okay? Or you were seeing other people. Just put it on whatever side you need to. Um, but there was competition here, all right? So someone was doing the spell work to ensure that the competition uh, didn't win. This is crazy. We got fake friends. So in other words, someone wasn't being honest with you. Some of you are, are understanding now, like I said, that you would do anything for your friends, but your friends would not do anything for you, so-called friends, right? Let's see what's going on here. You got people around you that feel like you always figure it out. You got people around you that feel like you always figure it out. They may be money hungry. You may have obstacles. You may have things going on, but you're always able to make it through, right? This is a person that stalks you just to see you sometimes. So even if this person is not talking to you all the time, they may be trying to check on what you're doing, okay? If you're on social media, this person may may try to check on you or look into your pages. And if you're not one person that may be on social media like that, this person may physically call you up or call someone up that knows you to ask about you. This is a person that felt, we got divine masculine energy. This is a person, even, even if it's a feminine, this is a masculine energy and aggression, okay? Um, this is a person that feels like the connection with you is way too intense. And this time, usually when I made this deck of cards, because this is my deck, when I made this deck of cards, what this what this felt like for me was, yeah, this is a soul tie. This is a connection. And um, we're meant to trigger each other. We're not meant to be together. This is why the connection 
is so strong and intense. Someone runs from this connection and then finds themselves running back to this connection, right? It's like a drug with this codependency here. I have a masculine energy right now that's coming through this energy, this, this reading that, that basically is dealing with someone that their mother can't stand. Their mother can't stand them because they don't like the way that their son or their daughter has been treated. Masculine energy. Doesn't matter if it's a feminine or a masculine, like I said. Okay? Someone doesn't like someone's chosen partner or someone that they keep going back and forth with. Someone here needs to cleanse their energy because someone is absolutely trying to make sure that you do not move forward. This is why it's so hard to get away from this person. Not only is it you having to physically make the decision to go past this person, right? But you also have the added element of someone that's doing some sort of candle magic or some uh, incantations, something of that nature to try to uh, um, stall you or keep you in a, in a position or a place or in a mindset to where you're not able to advance. I'm not sure who I'm talking to right now, guys, but this is what I'm seeing. That was a lot of cards at once. Well, uh, I'll be doggone. What we got here? You guys have been having lucid dreaming dreams. You guys have been getting spiritual downloads. You may not understand all of them, but they're directing you to end the cycle with a person. Like I said, they're ending you. They're asking you to end the cycle with a person. You don't have to know why. You don't have to know uh, the backstory. What they're saying is with this moon card energy is, you know what? Yeah, they're going to be mysteries. There's going to be things going on. But when we tell you to move, we want you to move. When God, source, spirit, the divine universe tells you to move, you move. Journey card, relocation. Spirit is saying, go on and move on with your life because there's blessings and there's answered prayers that are trying to make it to you, but they've been blocked with these obstacles on, in this spell work that someone has been uh, putting forth. You're supposed to go forward with the same passion, right? There's that fire energy that I was feeling earlier, right? You're supposed to go forward with 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 a passion uh, for creativity or whatever it is that you're trying to do in your life, you're supposed to be focusing on your own energy and not this person. Um, instead, you have been getting stuck, okay, in this rotten stagnation, the spirit of the fly. This person gets on your nerves. There's there's things that this person does that gets under your skin like no other, right? But then you look at this person 20 minutes later and you're saying how much you love them or how much you care about them. But spirit is saying something happened, right? Something happened back in the uh, maybe September, I want to say uh, late October, late August, early September. Um, late August, early September or, or early October with this person um, to where you guys, I don't know if you, you hit the restart button or if you went through the, the disconnect and reconnect or something of that nature. But Spirit is saying, you're stuck, my loves. Now is a time where you're supposed to be focusing on yourself. You're supposed to be going forward. For some of you, you need to travel. You need to see the world. You need to have a change of scenery as well, right? To be able to cleanse yourself properly from this energy, you need to effectively get away from this person, 
This is whose energy is coming through this reading. This is the energy. Okay? Um, Spirit is wanting better for you. But I feel like you guys have been making the decision to stay connected to someone or something. If this is not a person, it could be a job or could be a place or something of that nature. But, but I do believe that this is a person. Okay, for most of you, Spirit is saying, why? Why stay in something like this? Why? Why stay in a relationship like this? Okay. Why stay in something like this? Okay. This is some sort of alternative relationship. So it's not the norm. You know, um, this could be why you guys stay in it because it's not the norm. Spirit... <laughs> Spirit is saying, but but this is not what you need to go after. For some of you, you need to have a certain type of values, you know, with the person that you're with, right? You have to um, understand that person. You have to uh, feel like this person can not only learn from you, but this person can teach you some things as well. You may not be going through that or have that type of element um, going on in, in this relationship that's here. Spirit is saying it, this, this has come to an end many times. And since this has come to an end many times, right, you guys are failing to do what Spirit has been trying to get you to do, which is walk away, okay, and actually come to this completion to where you can then have the fulfillment of knowing, okay, that you've reached the end of this, right? You're no longer attached to an energy that that siphons you, that drains you, um, that brings negativity in your life, right? You can finally focus on your physical, emotional, um, and spiritual health, right? This is what's coming through. Three of Swords, right? Some of you guys have been trying your best to avoid feeling the pain of detaching and I understand it who the hell wants to be hurt right this is Venus energy out here I see Venus here and this is responsibility and discipline I'm sorry responsibility and discipline so it's your responsibility by the universe um, to make these decisions that are for your better good right? Heartbreak, betrayal, right? You're going through it. Why? You're going through a period of maybe feeling unhappy right now or feeling like people have betrayed you or feeling um, that things are not right in your life, right? You're seeing what you need to see so that you can make the decisions that you need to make to go forward. Um, I can't make this shit up, guys, right? What are you supposed to do? You're supposed to pour into yourself with the star card. <clears throat> Have hope that your life will be the way that you need it to be. You you can get out of your ego and out of the fear of being alone or having not uh, um, not having the connection the way that you would like it to be, right? No one has to stay connected to anyone that's not giving them everything that they need. Like, I'm just being as real as I can. Um, Spirit is wanting you to choose yourself. Spirit is wanting you to be calm and content. Spirit is wanting you to not have to worry all the time or not have, you know, um, aggression or or feel like you have to prove something or feel like you have to do the most at all times. Spirit is wanting you to give to yourself and to pamper yourself now and to not feel like you always have to give to others before you give to yourself. Somebody here needs to listen. Okay. We have this Taurus energy out here. We have Libra energy out here. We have Aquarius energy out here. Someone here needs to hear me. Okay. Right. We also had that fire energy out there with that other card. Um, we have Libra here as well. Like I said, with, with this card uh, where something could have happened in September, October. Um you guys are being called to make a different choice now, okay? Um, you may have blockages that um, need to be addressed too, okay? Um, right here with this card, we have your throat chakra. So that means that you feel like you need to speak up or maybe you haven't been saying the things that you need to say to people. Maybe you've been... Um, 
censoring yourself and not speaking what you need to speak. Spirit is saying, go ahead and say what you need to say. Right? The root chakra has been blocked as well. We have your third eye that has been blocked as well, right? But I feel like spirit is working on that uh, because I feel like someone is being awakened to, to things, especially with this um, introspection card. And um, someone needs to get out. You need to just have me time. Even if you got to sit down and go to a diner or something of that nature, um, go sit down and eat by yourself. Just get some air, go out in nature, do what you got to do. But you really do need to detach right now and start pouring into yourself for some wellness, right? Spirit wants you to have faith for your future. Spirit wants you to be in a good place. Um, Spirit wants you to always uh, feel like you're making the best judgments for yourself. For some of you, you may have, may be having a lot of headaches right now because your your crown chakra is blocked. Someone needs to go to um, YouTube and type in frequency music, okay, um, and start to clear your chakras. Right, just turn the music on the, the frequency uh beat while you're sleeping i'm telling you it actually works okay but this is what i have for you guys i'm sending you the utmost love and light if anyone needs uh, a personal reading the information's in the box below you guys take care hit the like button please i appreciate it Bye bye